Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are fine and staying safe and happy. I am your science teacher, Ms. Farheen, and I welcome you all to your science class. My dear students, today we are going to start a new chapter from the book. That is chapter number 7 and the name of this chapter is the earth and its resources yani ke earth aur usse paaye jane wale jo mukhtalif resources hain jo mukhtalif stores hain jinko hum istemal karte hain aaj hum us chapter ko start kar rahe hain mukhtalif resources ke bare mein hum one by one is chapter mein discuss karenge and today i am going to give you an introduction of this chapter so my dear students these are the student learning outcomes which we will cover in this chapter so a brief introduction dekh lete hain sabse pehle is chapter ka is chapter mein hum kya kuch seekhne wale hain so my dear students the earth is the motherland of humans it has hidden treasures of minerals metals gemstones fossil fuels plants etc moreover many animals and plants have been extinct up till now the earth has preserved information about them the following chapter covers all the aspects and the investigation of human activities that disturb the natural resources so my dear students aapko pata hai ki jo earth hai ye hamara ghar hai ye hamare घर की तरह है और यहाँ पर जितने भी चीज़ें हैं हम उनको इस्तेमाल करके अपनी ज़िंदगी गुजारते हैं इसके अलावा जैसे जैसे टाइम गुजर रहा है बहुत से जो प्लांट्स और एनिमल्स हैं दे हैव डाइट तो उनके जो इम्प्रिंट्स हैं वो किस तरीके से रिजर्व रिजर्व हुए और किस तरीके से हमें उनके बारे में पता चला तो फॉसल्स के बारे में भी हम इस चैप्टर में डिस्कस करेंगे सो दिस चैप्टर इज गोइंग टू बी अ रियली फन चैप्टर सो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स व्हेन वी विल स्टार्ट लेक्चर नंबर वन द स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू रिकग्नाइज दैट द अर्थ सर्फेस मेड अप ऑफ लैंड एंड वाटर एंड इज सराउंडेड बाय एयर सो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स हम अर्थ की सर्फेस के बारे में पहले लेक्चर में पढ़ेंगे कि किस तरीके से ये किन चीज़ों पर मुश्तमिल है किन चीज़ों से मिलकर बनी हुई है and then we will move forward towards the lecture number 2 and in lecture number 2 the students will be able to recognize that water in rivers and streams flow from mountains to oceans or lakes so my dear students iske ilawa kis tarike se tamam jo pani earth pe hai wo interconnected hai hum lecture number 2 mein isko discuss karenge then we will move forward towards lecture number 3 and the students will be able to identify some of the earth's natural resources that are used in everyday life for example water wind soil forests oil natural gas and minerals so my dear students one by one jitne bhi earth ke upar resources hai natural resources hai hum unko lecture number 3 mein discuss karenge then we will move forward towards lecture number 4 and the students will be able to identify some of the natural resources to hum isme minerals jo hai usko as a natural resource jo hai discuss karenge then we will move forward towards lecture number 5 or lecture number 5 mein hum kya discuss karenge the students will be able to uh, identify some of the natural resources again jo hai bachche natural resources ko discuss karenge jaise ki air ko aur water ko then we will move forward towards lecture number 6 and again students will recognize that some remains fossils of animals and plants that lived on the earth a long time ago are found in rocks soil and under the sea so my dear students kis tarike se jitne bhi pehle zamane mein ya past mein jo animals or plants which have died hame kaise unke bare mein pata chalta hai hum unko fossil se jante hain to hum fossils ko in detail lecture number 6 mein discuss karenge and in lecture number 7 the students 7a jo hai usme students jo hai differentiate kar chukenge between renewable and non renewable resources then in lecture number 7b the students will be able to investigate the impact of human activities on the earth's natural resources so my dear students kis tarike se human activities ka bad impact hai ya kya impact hai natural resources pe hum isko lecture number 7b mein discuss karenge then we will move forward towards lecture number 8 that will be the review of the chapter or isme hum tamam uh, student learning outcomes ko reading pages ko revise karenge and by the end i will uh, uh, give you an assessment sheet jisse jo hai aap uh, ko evaluate kiya jayega ki aapne is chapter se kya kuch seekha so my dear students aapko is chapter mein bahut kuch seekhne ko milega so stay tuned for the next lecture keep everybody around you safe have a good day thank you so much and allah hafiz